Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It turned out to be a fair to partly cloudy day, very normal for this time of the year. A lot of heat out there, but you would expect that. Take a look at Beeville, for example, scattered clouds in 95 degrees. You got a southeast wind at eight miles an hour. Heading out to the beach, probably a good bet tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies. You're going to be up around the 90 degree mark. Heat index around 107. Then that weak sea breeze will set up southeast five to 10 knots. It'll make for smooth bays, maybe slightly choppy in the afternoon and just two to four foot seas. And finally, rip current risk has gotten back down to low. Water is warm at 87 degrees. It's pretty nice out there. We hit 97 degrees today and actually the lowest uh, high temperature we've had in three days. Uh, so 74 the low this morning. Very nice out there early today. Peak wind was around 23, 24 miles an hour. The last three hours is 21. So it's actually pretty fair. Now, this is what we're seeing as far as that dust. Uh, this is the Saharan dust layer moving across all the way across the Atlantic into the Gulf of Mexico. By Tuesday into Wednesday, we're going to see that begin to thicken and be problematic around here, especially for folks with, say, respiratory irritation that's sensitized by this. So keep that one in mind. Now, <clears throat> it's set up by this. Big high pressure centered over uh, the northeastern part of the Lone Star State, ridging down into our area. But underneath that, you do have that dust filtering across. And way down south, we have um, a little bit of low pressure way down in the tropics. And by the way, this is the remnants of grace now in the eastern Pacific and very likely to redevelop into a tropical cyclone. If indeed it does, and it's likely to, it'll get a different name, an eastern Pacific name. So with that in mind, High pressure over us, lots of heat. Mid 90s, upper 90s, it's a typical hot August day here in the Lone Star State. And around here, even along the coastline, you're near 90 degrees. And then middle to upper 90s, triple digits of Catula. And uh, tomorrow morning, get a little relief from that. Middle to upper 70s in most locations, lower 80s along the coastline. And you can see that distinction there. But tomorrow afternoon, just as hot as it was today, middle to upper 90s, triple digits further west with heat index values that'll be hitting around 106, 108 tomorrow and just about the same come Tuesday as well, maybe 110, 111. But the high is shifting and it's going to relocate into the central Appalachians. When that happens, then that deep tropical moisture uh, will pour in here and then we'll start to see isolated showers Wednesday, scattered thunderstorms Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And then we're watching the tropics. Um, all the models are now developing a low pressure area down in the Bay of Campeche over the weekend. Where it goes, we're not sure yet, but we do know that it will add rainfall to our area. So we're going to keep that one, um, we're going to keep watching that one really carefully. That could be uh, more rain than what we're indicating right here, but for now, it looks like a showery weekend. Right now, we're looking at a very nice morning again in the middle 70s, surging into the middle 90s again tomorrow. Heat index around 107, lots of sun out there, lots of heat and a little bit of humidity. More of the same Tuesday, but the dust a problem Tuesday and Wednesday, isolated showers Wednesday, and then increasing chances of rain right on through the weekend. Patrick?